999, 1,000. Oh. oh, hey, didn't see you there. Let's get straight into the video. Oh my God, is that Red One? Let's watch this video. Come here and subscribe. Uh, hey guys, what is up? <laughs> another day, another video. So I thought that the second video I should make since the rebrand is going to be a video that I thought I should do just because it's such a big part of my life. Um, it's going to be what's in my gym bag or what I take to the gym because not all of this actually fits in my gym bag. And the reason I do that is because um, a huge chunk of my life is going to the gym now. Uh, I have to lose weight or just gain muscle or get stronger. And I thought the best way to like introduce myself into like the gym scene or like the fitness scene in terms of like videos is just to say literally what I take to the gym, maybe record some workouts later. But yeah, um, when, what I take to the gym also includes what I wear to the gym. So typically what I wear to the gym includes this like jumper sort of thing and like tracksuit bottoms. Oh gosh, I don't know if this is allowed on YouTube, but yeah. So tracksuit bottoms and underneath this, I'd probably wear like a black t-shirt or like a, like basically a running top of some sort, something like this. And yeah, so in terms of gym apparel, I'd say wear whatever makes you comfortable. Uh, wear stuff that you think that you wouldn't mind getting dirty. The next piece of clothing I'd probably talk about is footwear. I think footwear is quite important just due to the fact that um, a lot of exercises require you to have a flat foot or they require you to have some sort of, uh, it's not shin, your it's just below the calf what up ankle ankle support and the shoes that i typically wear to the gym are these shoes over here uh let me see if i can these are pretty beat up they're my jordans i think they're called jordan mid series four uh they're series mid they are pretty mid shoes to be fair um they're absolutely disgustingly di like dirty um i use these all the time i took them to dubai um, when I was walking for long distances, I actually did get injured walking in the shoes because I remember I needed to go pee, so I fast walked and then I twisted my ankle somehow. Yeah, not a nice feel. They're relatively flat at the bottom. They've got good um, ankle support, easy to tie. Uh, they're easy to tie and you can firmly tie them, so you're kind of locked in. And I love deadlifting in them. They smell terrible. Like when I say smell terrible, I mean like, it's like a gas chamber if you were stuck in the room with us. No, I'm joking, it's not that bad. But, um, and on days that I'm not um, lifting and it's just a cardio day, I do have a separate pair of shoes. It's these Nikes or Nike shoes. Um, I think they're called down shoes or revolutions. I don't actually remember the name. If you're wondering why the shoes are extremely massive, they're both size 13. Um, they are a nice pair of shoes. Uh, these ones I barely wear anymore because um, I don't really do cardio. And uh, yeah, let me go get my gym bag and let's get into that. We have got our gym bag. So the gym bag that I use currently is just a, a Nike ruffle bag. The ruffle bag? A duffel bag. A duffel bag. Um, and I was I was thinking about when I said I don't do much cardio and I was thinking how much Sam Sudik would be like disappointed in me and like see bum but after I've done squatting you better see this bum grow now I'm joking I don't actually squat as well because I've got really bad knee pains um, I wouldn't say spend too much on a gym bag like I think this was 15 pounds but I used to use the backpack beforehand it wasn't something that I really thought I have to really invest in but before I go over the contents of the gym bag, other things that I take to the gym include um, Well, I, I take two phones to the gym So I have my actual phone that I use on a daily basis to like text people and whatever But when I'm locked into the gym, I don't want to be replying to messages and I don't want to be um, Focused on people texting me and stuff. So I don't use that phone. I have this iPhone 7 plus um, It's pretty beat up. I'll show you how like broken it is the screen's basically coming off. You can kind of see that. And it's like really broken. So if it does break, um, it's not the biggest loss in the world because I do throw the phone around. 
I just have Spotify on this, so I listen to music and stuff, um, or podcasts, or anime motivation or normal motivation. It depends what I'm feeling. So I'll take both phones to the gym. I'll only use the seven plus. Um, another necessity that I personally have at the gym, headphones. I got these. These are absolutely amazing. I've also got um, other headphones from the same brand. Uh, they are, I think the Space Ones, these are the Q20s. The sound quality is amazing. They fit around my ear nicely. Uh, the cuffs are comfortable. They're a good size because I've got a relatively big head and I absolutely yeah. love Noise cancelling as well. The Q20s were really cheap when I bought them. I think they were about £35 or £30, or give and take around that mark. I think they've gone up in price. My Space One X's are also noise cancelling. I love them. Uh, but these are absolutely beautiful headphones. Simplistic in design. I'll just show you again. And yeah, unfortunately, these are great for weightlifting. However, when I'm doing cardio, I sweat too much when I'm doing cardio and it's almost like the sweat just comes back onto my ear and you can just feel it on my ears. That's why I do also have a pair of AirPods. I used to have Pros, but um, sad story about that is that I had the AirPods Pro cases. I had the Pros in my ear and then I accidentally left the case on the train and then I tried to get it back, but uh, when you leave something on TFL, the likelihood of you getting it back is near enough zero. But yeah, these are my Itachi case, the AirPod, uh, AirPods. I don't want to show you the inside because these are also dirty. Another necessity I say to bring to the gym is a water bottle. I just use a plastic bottle. I'm not going to buy anything fancy. Uh, but yeah, water, hydration, you're always going to be sweating. You're always going to be need to, needing to rehydrate yourself. Another necessity, just because of the area I live in, is a padlock. So when I do put my gym bag in the locker, I put it using it. I put it in and then I padlock it. The keys on my key. Another thing that I do take to the gym is my Apple Watch. It's an Apple Watch 4. It's not a necessity. I don't wear it that much anymore because I do use the next thing I'm going to be showing you. And it's great to see how many calories you burn. It's not the most accurate. Uh, it does test, your, not test, but it shows your heart rate and your blood saturation or blood oxygen saturation. Again, not the most accurate piece of tech, but it's also a good thing to keep time of your workout, seeing how much, how long you're resting for. Um, essentially, uh, oh, sorry, uh, get a rough ballpark of your workouts and how long they are, how many calories you burn, stuff like that. Pretty good isn't a necessity if you are new to the gym you don't need this uh you don't need a lot of the things i'm going to show you because when you're getting started for the gym it's good to start instead of saying i need this and that and then getting started it's great to just get into it the next thing that i'm going to show you is or are the wrist straps i use these every single workout even if it's a leg day a push day a pull day a full body workout day these basically help give you some wrist stability. A lot of my workouts, when I started initially, uh, it wasn't that bad, but as soon as I started adding more weights to like my bench press, my deadlifts, and like my leg, not leg presses, my Romanian deadlifts, it did take a toll on my wrist. And it's not because I would say that the, ex the actual exercises themselves um, did it, it was more probably because of how I placed my wrists. It just firmly holds my wrists in place now. So it reduces injuries, which I really enjoy having. So I would say if you are new to lifting, maybe look into something like this. So if you are suffering from wrist pain. Sorry guys, I had to like take a quick pause because my nose just started going off the rails. Speaking of my nose going off the rails, um, I take this to the gym as well. So this is basically a nasal inhaler. So some days I feel a bit stuffy. Some days my hay fever, my hay fever, my hay fever goes a bit crazy, and I need something just to unblock my nose. Or because I don't want to purchase smelling salts as well, this is a good thing to just like wake me up a bit. But obviously, you can take pre-workout, but sometimes people don't want to use the caffeine to stimulate themselves because there are health complications of overusing caffeine. The next thing I'm going to show you is something that I've had a personal journey with. Yes, a journey with an item that I put in my uh, gym bag. 
It's a weightlifting belt. I've had three weightlifting belts in my time. This is personally the one I go for. Uh, it's by professional choice. Uh, I think I bought it pretty cheap in on Amazon, sorry. Um, initially, I got a 10 pound one from Amazon. It was really thin and it was just there to like make me feel like I was being supported. It wasn't the best. It wasn't really keeping my back straight. The second one I had was a gift from a friend which was like 80, 90 quid. Um, it was really good. It had a metal clasp. It was really stiff leather and it kept my back straight. However, no matter how much I loosened it, it was digging into my skin when I was getting up and like going down low. So it was really uncomfortable. So I settled on getting one of these because I feel like it's the best of both worlds. It's flexible and it's also stiff enough to keep my back straight and it's not causing me pain by digging into my skin. So again, the reason why I'm not gonna be linking any of these products in my description is some of this stuff is specific to me. Like for example, people might hate this belt because it's not strong enough or stiff enough or it's not well made enough for some people. Um, it might be the opposite. It might be too stiff. It might be too um, strong and it might dig into the skin. So I want you guys to test out products and maybe see products for yourself before you purchase items because I don't want you guys to make the wrong purchases. The next item is actually deodorant. So this is Lynx Africa, waiting for Lynx Asia to come out just so I can say yes, I've got Lynx Asia and I'm brown. Um, deodorant is obviously a necessity just because when you're sweating and smelling at the gym, you want to smell nice after or maybe even beforehand and just so the, the, the gym is actually smelling pleasant. You're smelling pleasant after the gym session. Sorry, I know sorry. some people take a shower at the gym, um, but I'm not one of those people just because I feel like it's a bit weird for me only because I live so close to the gym and I've had weird experiences at swimming and I just feel like that put me off of uh, taking showers at the gym. So the old ones are always nice. The next thing I have in here is actually like thermals. Um, the reason I have thermals is because I'm Muslim so I can't show my knees or my aura when I'm out and about. So if I do choose to wear shorts, I'll wear my thermals or uh, masculine tights as some may say at the gym just so my knees aren't showing so that's in there i have this because these are the sort of uh, wrist sweatbands or arm sweatbands uh they have the letter r because obviously my name is red one and i remember watching an anime called crook on a basket and all of the basketball players had these again not a necessity i wouldn't even recommend getting these because these are basically useless um the next thing i have is another deodorant again it's key that you smell nice just not for yourself but the others around you this is a Lynx uh, Black, uh, waiting for Lynx Brown. Sponsor me Lynx. Um, I do have sweat towels. Sometimes when you're sweating a lot, it's vital that you um, wipe down the surfaces that you're using or maybe just having a sweat towel just so you're not covered in sweat and it's getting in your eyes and causing your eyes to sting. That's why I keep a sweat towel with me. I have hand sanitizer, just in case I have any cuts on my hand or any uh worries or just stress about my hands being dirty and i just want to eat after maybe and i just need it the next thing i actually got for, as a gift from my uncle um well three of them are um one of them i got myself so the red one i got myself these are resistance bands these are absolutely amazing for adding resistance to weight training i personally use this red band for stretching um stretching is absolutely vital it's it's important for you to stretch because I suffer from quite a few injuries and that's a mixture of me not stretching and me not like um, taking the time to warm up my muscles, especially with my shoulders and my legs. Um, so doing stuff like just pulling it out, um, doing it over your head, doing it behind your back, just stretching out every muscle is vital just to get that blood flow going and keeping your muscles warm. Um, he got me this set from Decathlon uh, for what home workouts is amazing too. Um, the next thing I have, because I have extreme knee pain, is knee sleeves. I've only got one here because I keep the other one in my football bag because with knee injuries, I tend to uh, use these more for sports than I do with lifting, but you can use them for lifting. For example, squats, uh, leg presses, deadlifts, stuff like that. 
chalk chalk is something that i've used several times not because of um me struggling to do lift but well it actually is because i'm struggling to do lift it's because i have grip strength but my grip strength sometimes isn't enough to hold onto the bar or my hands get cold and sweaty mom's spaghetti vomit on his sweater already but i'm joking um and i use liquid chalk just to chalk up my hands so i can lift a bit more if my hands are too sweaty or my palms are like clammy you can get primark chalk i think but if for those of you that don't know if you're american chalk uh, primark is a like a clothes shop they also do like little accessories and necessities that you need in daily life and yeah back roller it clicks my back it really relieves the stress and tension in my back uh, if you don't have one i would probably highly highly recommend getting one of these i love this it's one of the best things i've purchased um i borrowed my uncle's one i accidentally broke that one yeah sorry sorry uncle um but yeah this is an absolutely beautiful piece of uh i don't even, it's not technology equipment that's the word equipment and last but not least again this is a purchase that i purely made because i was suggested it from youtube ads tiktok ads and my uncle himself i have another one but this is a massage gun i got this for 30 pounds i believe from amazon it's from fit pulse uh, really good for muscle recovery massaging it just gets like <clears throat> any muscles that are currently knot it up or just right really tense and like, helps with intensifying them if that is a word if it's not um oxford dictionary you need to look into adding words that i've created and i feel free to hire me to in invest in to creating new words yeah but this massage gun my parents use it i use it my sister uses it it's just something that it's nice to have around the house when you're feeling a bit of pain in your in your muscles, your back, your legs. It just helps soothe it, massage it. And yeah, these are all of the things that I personally have either in my gym bag or around the house where I take to the gym. But you don't need most of this, I'll be completely honest with you. The only thing that you probably need to start the gym is yourself and a gym membership. Other things that I would say are maybe a necessity to most people that go to the gym is your headphones, your water bottle and your phone, I guess. Those are the only things that I tend to use on the daily. When I first started, it's not like I had all of this equipment when I first started the gym. If you want to get started with the gym, just go to the gym, take a water bottle with you, train. Like it's more you getting started and you knowing what you're doing than it is to do with the equipment that you take to the gym um again great people to look at when looking for help with gym information is probably jeff nippard uh greg Desset, uh derek from more place more date uh, dates if you're looking into like supplementation you may need or uh, exercises that are really good to do um, workout plans, I'm pretty sure they have like, Will Tennyson is a really good one. I remember him doing a video on like a, a full body workout split where uh, it's really good for beginners. And yeah, if you did enjoy this content and you did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate a like, comment and a subscription. A subscription? I don't want your Netflix subscription. I would like you to subscribe, subscribe to me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace. Hey, don't go away. Come back. Subscribe. Watch more of my videos, please.